Hey friends, I took a trip to the Dollar Tree to see what I could find. You may remember a project using this surface. I will be sure to link that project below. But I did find lots of goodies to create some beachy themed projects. So why don't you join me and let's get chalking. For today's projects, I'm using the Geometric Ocean Prints Transfer. It's got three different images on there, um, and I'm going to end up using all three of those. So I'm just going to cut that transfer apart. I'm going to mark the back so I know which side is the back and which transfer goes on which backer paper. And I'm going to start with a glass jar. Um, Dollar Tree has lots of glass jars. Um, I was looking for something that I could put a tea light in. I didn't find anything in the glassware section, but then when I went to the floral area, I found the exact type of jar I was looking for. So um, I am going to use the starfish uh, transfer. You'll see I started with the waves and then after I put it on I decided I'm going to save that for a different project. So you'll see I'm going to pull that up in just a second. But um, for this glass jar I'm actually going to be using etching cream. Um, this is so much fun and I just love how this turned out. Uh, it basically etches your glass surface. So um, I used Armor Etch. You want to make sure that you follow the directions on the back of the um, the container. Uh, it says to use um, uh, rubber gloves. Uh, you'll see when I rinse this off, I actually use rubber gloves. When I put it on, um, I'm just very careful that I'm not touching it. Um, and just so you know, it does have kind of a smell to it. It kind of reminds me of um, if you've ever used Nair back in the day. Um, I don't even know if they sell Nair anymore, but um, that's what it kind of reminded me of. So uh, if that bothers you, you might want to, you know, use it in a, you know, in a room with an open window or something like that. But I'm just going to use a paintbrush on here. It says to apply a thick coat of it. So um, I am trying to go against my instincts to scrape the excess off because that's what we do when we use chalk paste. But I'm just going to basically paint this on my glass surface. Um, I'm using a paper towel because, uh, you know, I don't know what that would do to my table. But um, once I get that all on there, I'm just going to let it sit for a while. It says one to three minutes. Um, lots of videos I've watched where people use this, they leave it on 10, 15 minutes. I think I probably ended up leaving it on about 15 minutes because I'm going to do this first and then I'm going to do my other projects and come back to this one to rinse it off. So, um, once I get that on there, I'm just going to set it aside and move to my next project. So the next thing I found at Dollar Tree were these adorable glass jars or bottles. They had them in three different colors and they have this cute little fish hanging on there. So I ended up picking up the uh, dark blue one. I just thought that was so pretty and thought it would look great chalked. So I uh, am going to grab the fish transfer and all of these transfers uh, were brand new. I haven't chalked with them yet, so I'm going to make sure to fuzz them first. Um, and then I'm just going to carefully adhere this around the edges of my bottle. Um, you just want to kind of be careful as you're uh, putting it on there. Any kind of surface that has rounded edges or corners or, you know, anything like that. Just make sure you get all the air bubbles out there. You can see I'm kind of lifting up right there because I saw a little air bubble on there. And just, you know, do your best kind of putting that on there. This one went on really easy. Um, and it actually went all the way around uh, the bottle. I'm just making sure that I'm trying not to... Um, let the transfer fall onto itself so it doesn't stick. And then I ended up pulling out um, the Duchess chalk paste, which is a chalk paste. It was a color of the month, I believe, from last month. Um, originally, I was going to do white, and then I thought this has a shimmer to it, and it's light blue, and I thought it would look perfect for these cute little fishies on top of that dark blue surface. So I'm just going to chalk the entire surface and then pull that transfer off. So you can 
see as I'm pulling the transfer off, I'm pulling it off kind of slow and I'm just kind of shimmying it back and forth just so that I make sure I don't pull on the transfer and stretch it out. So um, once I pull that off, I'm going to dry the paste so that I don't smudge it. And the shimmer paste looks so good on this dark blue bottle. I love it. So I'm going to take that same transfer. I've already washed it. And then I'm going to grab one of those cute little fishies and put it on the little wooden fish tag just to add a little something. I could have left it alone, but you know, why not? I have a fish transfer, right? So I'm going to grab a cadet trans or cadet chalk paste. Um, and I haven't used it in a while. It's not typically a color I run to a lot, so it needed a little bit of love. So I'm just going to spritz a little bit of distilled water and stir and keep doing that until I get it the consistency that I need, which is basically the consistency of yogurt. So um, once I do that, it is good to go and I can chalk that cute little fishy. So as I'm putting my transfer back on the backer paper, you can see why it's important to mark the back because sometimes it's hard to tell which side it's supposed to go on. So um, next I'm going to move on to this ceramic tag that I found. There was a couple different shapes that I found at the Dollar Tree. Um, but I'm going to grab the Lake Time Beach Vibes Minis transfer. And I always say the minis are one of my favorite transfers because you get so many uses out of it. There's 12 different transfers. So many different things you can use for these little mini transfers. Um, so I'm just going to cut them apart. I'm not going to cut all of them up because I don't need them all right now. There was two different ones. I wasn't sure which one I was going to use, whether it was the beach access one or the beach vibes. I ended up going with the beach vibes one, but um, then I'm going to grab the uh, waves transfer. And that was again with that geometric oceans, ocean prints transfer. Um, and again, I'm fuzzing my transfer because these are brand new and I'm putting it on a pretty sticky surface. So I put the Beach Vibes transfer on there first because I wanted to know how high to put the waves. And then I'm going to pull that off for just a second. And then I'm going to grab the Cadet that I used already and then Dusky Blue. And I'm going to kind of mix these colors together. I'm going to first do the Cadet along the bottom and then I'll grab the dusky blue and I'll kind of blend those together. One of my absolute favorite techniques is to blend colors. I just think it looks so cool. It's such an easy technique. You can mix it as much or as little as you want and there's really no right or wrong way to do it. You just kind of mix whatever you want and you're good to go. And look how cool that turned out. I just love that. So I'm just going to set that transfer on my backer paper for a sec while I dry this. And then I'm going to grab the beach access, or not the beach access, sorry, beach vibes little mini transfer. And again, I'm going to uh, combine or mix colors. I ended up grabbing peach cobbler and sunset drive. Just kind of gives me a sunset kind of feel to it. So I'm going to do the peach cobbler along the bottom about halfway up and then I'll grab the sunset drive and mix those two in with my um, in with my uh, squeegee. You just want to make sure when you're mixing the colors don't put that back in your jar because then you will obviously mix the colors that are in your jar. Um, and then I'm going to pull that off and I just, I love how that turned out. So, so cute. So here we go. Here's where I forgot to mark the back and now I'm like, which side is the backer paper? So it took me a second to figure that out. But again, make sure you mark the back of your backer paper on your transfer. So um, once that was done, I went to my jar that I had the etching cream on and I'm just going to rinse that off. Uh, I rinsed it off the jar. You'll see I am wearing rubber gloves. It did say in the uh, instructions on the bottle to use gloves, so better safe than sorry. Um, rinsed that off. Turned out super cute. Um, and the etching cream rinsed right off of my transfer. No problem. Didn't um, do anything to my transfer. And then I did 
did use my border eraser just to make sure it got all the etching cream out of that. And yes, I have multiple border erasers sitting on my sink. This bathroom's actually right outside of my office. So um, that's usually where my supplies are drying. But um, yeah, see, that turned out so cute. I am so happy with that etching cream. Okay, so another project, or I believe this might be the last project, I have this surface. It's a little um, piece of wood that's on probably an old candle holder. I found this at a thrift shop. It's actually something that I probably would have made, but I just love it. So um, I thought it would be perfect to hold all of my beachy items. Um, I found this uh, nautical type beachy uh, rope or twine at the Dollar Tree, of course. And so I just decided to glue that along the edge. This uh, had like a little um, notch along the edge that was perfect for this rope. So I just used my hot glue gun and glued it all the way around the edge. Now once that was done, I went back to my ceramic tag. Um, you'll see there I already have some beads on there. I originally put some twine um, or jute on my tag and then I found this um, light blue baker's twine that I thought actually would look better. Um, so I ended up creating a little tassel with that and you'll see here in just a second I'm going to take the beads off of that other twine and I'm going to end up putting it on here. So to make a tassel you just basically um, wind that twine around your hand as many times as you want to. Then you're going to take your twine and wrap it around the top to create a knot and then you're gonna pull off as long um, as much twine as you think you're gonna need for for your beads. I don't need a whole lot because I'm not doing a real long one. And then you're gonna take some more twine and just wrap it around um, those loose pieces right there to create your little tassel. And then you'll trim the twine or trim the twine <laughs> um, along the edges. But super easy to create these. I love creating these little beaded tassels. So. Um, once I did that, I did end up deciding to take all those beads off of there. And then I went back and forth between trying to figure out if I wanted to use just the natural wood beads or if I wanted to add some blue ones. You'll see here in a minute, um, once I added some on there, uh, I ended up going back and adding a few blue ones. And the reason I leave this in the video is to show you that, you know, you can change your mind in your projects. I change my mind all the time and, you know, just do what looks good to you. If you think something doesn't look right, don't worry about redoing it and changing it up and um, creating what you want for your project. So I'm going to add these beads on there um, and then I'm going to tie it back onto my ceramic tag. Once all the beads are on there and I've tied that onto my tag, I always add a little bit of hot glue on that knot on the end because it's cut so short and if it were to come undone for some reason, there's really no good way to tie that back on. So just as a little bit of, uh, you know, extra something to keep it on there, I add a little bit of hot glue on that knot. So, and there's my cute little beaded tag. And then for the last thing I found 
this cute little um, burlap with these uh, starfishes on it and I thought it was so cute so I cut it to size and then you can see here if you pull on some of the strings you can just add a little bit of fraying on the edge um, and then I grabbed some um, little uh, I guess ribbon or pom-pom fringe whatever you want to call it and I'm just gonna add that on two of the ends um, of this burlap just to kind of give it a little something extra starfish burlap turned out so cute with that little fringe that I put on there so one other thing I found at the Dollar Tree were these glass beads so I'm gonna put those in the jar those were in the floral section as well um, and add a battery operated tea light I will be sure to put a link for those below I also found these cute little starfish um, you could also use if you have some seashells from your travels you could use those as well but I thought these were so cute so they came in a set of three um, and this little set turned out so cute and the thing about it is I actually found another uh, little wooden tray that I put some of these items in that I thought would be super cute like in a bathroom like a beachy bathroom or something like that so uh, a couple different ideas for you. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you'd like to see more videos, be sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.